I didn't know about linguistics and it was taking the introductory course where I really discovered such an exciting field about how we speak and the different parts of our language and other languages. I thought linguistics was about language and to be honest that's all I really knew about it. And obviously when I came to study linguistics, I learned it was so much more than that. It was really multifaceted. The reason I chose to study linguistics is because I come from, well firstly, I come from a bilingual family, so bilingualism's always been an interest of mine. You learn about bilingualism, you learn about second language acquisition, the history and structure of English, semantics and pragmatics. So it's actually quite a um, complex and, yeah, as I said, multifaceted kind of area of study. I think the most useful thing about linguistics is really understanding different perspectives that people have. So. In my Japanese learning, I learned that the language is structured to be polite and to really make sure you convey that politeness when you're talking to someone. Whereas it's not necessarily in English and there's differences between them and learning linguistics taught me about how perspectives are communicated in language. You're not necessarily learning a language from scratch, you're just, it's more about the scientific study of you know, various languages and really sort of deconstructing them, looking at the structure of words, the structure of sentences, the origin of different languages, um, the evolution of languages, and yeah, looking at language in different contexts, looking at the way people learn language from a cognitive perspective. There's a lot to learn. <laughs> I live in Parramatta. I am a local resident, and the people surrounding me, a lot of them are migrants and my previous working experience, I have exposure to these people. So I'm aware the need for people with language skills. If you're learning a language, you are also learning about the culture. And so that can help our understanding of the world and our understanding of people as well. So I would definitely agree that when you learn a language, you're also learning about the context in which that language occurs, for sure. I want to conduct research on um, language learning in adults. Um, because it is more difficult for adults to learn a language and I want, I want to know why is that so um, and also how we can combat this problem so we can, you know, we can learn languages more efficiently and more quickly. My favourite area in linguistics um, is the power of language and I think that's the most interesting thing is that the fact that language has um, such a power um, over people and society as a whole. Now, with um, the relationship between Australia and China, um, increased trade and culture exchanges, so they need more people with bilingual skills. I think a good personal attribute for somebody who wants to study linguistics would be that curiosity about language. So wanting to know more about why we say things the way we say things or um, you know how people learn a language, what happens to their brains when that happens. The most surprising thing for me was to actually discover that there are jobs in research. I had no idea. I thought that scientists studied in a lab and they were in lab coats, but to find out that I was a researcher and I was a scientist looking at language was probably the most surprising thing that's ever happened to me.